to be sh I bought a new car. Now, my old one had done me pretty well. In fact, it even showed up in a couple of my YouTube videos over the years. But it had about a quarter million miles on it, and it was starting to have some mechanical problems, so I started looking around. Turns out Volkswagen had some pretty good deals. 0% financing, some discounts, the usual stuff. So I dove into the soul-crushing act of buying a new car for the first time in like a decade. And I ended up at a place in Clarksville, Tennessee called Wyatt Johnson. Do you ever get the sense that something just doesn't feel right? And then you overrule your good sense and do the dumb thing anyway? I got the usual runaround about price, which is to be expected, so I left. And that's kind of the high point of this video. Because the next day the manager called me and offered me an even better deal for the car. Now, I should mention that I live in Nashville, and the dealership is in Clarksville. It's like an hour away. Uh, that's gonna become important here in a second. Long story short, I bought the car. This car, in fact. And about the time I got it home, I started hearing a loud banging every time I'd run over a bump that was bigger than the thickness of a sheet of paper. Turns out the dealer forgot to take out those little plastic thingies from inside the suspension. And in order to verify that, I had to jack the car up, which caused one of the body panels to break off. So I took it back to Clarksville, and after only two weeks, I got my brand new car back. Trouble is, once I got it home, the check engine light came on. Engine misfire, possible catalytic converter damage. The good news is that this time it was only in the shop for Three days. Bad news, after I picked it up again, I only made it down the highway about 20 miles before the tire pressure thing went off because they overinflated the rear tires. Around about this time, I figured I should put in a call to Volkswagen of America just to see if this is how business is done or if maybe there was any chance they could swap the car out for one that would operate outside of Wyatt Johnson property because it seemed like mine couldn't. And after waiting three weeks, the answer that I got was... They did send me this tin of cookies. No Vaseline, though. 